Hello, Hubert Spala, and welcome to the Yggdrasil Roadshow. Really good to have you here today, man. Thank you. It's great to be here too, and uh, great welcome to the Roadshow audience. Excellent, excellent. So today we're going to have a look at uh, the next game from Avatar UX, another game in the pop series. So uh, please take it away. All right, thank you. Uh, so Raging Pop uh, is quite unique to all of other uh, all other, other games uh, because the first surprise that will welcome the players when entering the game is that we don't actually have pop in win extension in the base game. So the symbols will pop, will be replaced with the new symbols. That's all in and that's very good and very nice, but the uh, reels do not extend. And they then do not extend for a reason because we have a new unique mechanic in this game, uh, which is the raging re uh, reels and raging rhinos. So the player will see the rhinos uh, crossing the reels with the random multiplier, but there's a lot of things happening here actually. Not only we are getting a nice huge multiplier that we are, can see right now, it's uh, actually 100 and it can be even bigger, so that's fantastic. Uh, but also when that happens, the reels extend. And when they extend, they of course give the player more chance to actually win something to trigger that multiplier. So it's a little bit like a compound effect. First, we get a nice huge multiplier, which is good. Uh, then we extend the reels to give the player even more chances to actually land a winning combination. And when this winning combination is landed, well, we can enjoy a very nice substantial win with this uh, multiplier. And of course, due to this expanding reels, uh, we do not uh, give the extension from the pop wins. However, this will be reiterated into the bonus game. Now what we are seeing is our new second most important feature, which is the multi-stage gamble. So one of our pain points that we had before uh, addressed and feedback to us is that our gamble is of course very nice, but also very harsh. Uh, you can win a lot or lose everything, right? So with the multi-stage gamble, we address it as well. Uh, not only we offer a chance to win up to 30 free spins, which is nice, but also if you actually lose on a previous stage, instead of losing everything, you are just getting a little bit less free spins, but you still enter bonus round and you can still play the free spins with everything that is in it. So when we are in the free spins, there's quite a lot of things happening and there's a lot of things uh, going on. So first of all, we engage once again the full pop win mechanic. So once again, everything pops, everything extends, you are getting this delicious flow that our players are used to. And on top of that, we of course have the raging girls again. So now this time, every time uh, you spin a game, you have a chance to land this new multiplier, real expansion, the whole shebang, and uh, you can get new multipliers and new wins, as you can see right now. So uh, every spin has a potential to be huge and massive, especially that the multiplier can be very high. Uh, and with this uh, high multiplier, every win can transform into something substantial. On top of that, just to spice it up, to make sure that having 30 free spins is something very good, uh, we introduce one extra mechanic into the free spins, which is the progressive reels growth. Um, as you can see, next to the free spin counter, we have those fireballs, and they are actually counting down. They're counting down spins, and every spin, um, nothing really happens. However, if we count down 10 spins, the reels will extend all of them by one size, and this size will be locked for the duration of the rest of the free spins. So actually, if the player has 30 free spins, the maximum amount that can be get, um, they can expect uh, the last free spins to actually uh, offer as maximum potential as they can, because all the rules will be almost extended to the max from the get-go. You will literally just need one win to expand them to the maximum size. And of course, with the maximum size, we have the 200,000, uh, 235,000 ways. Uh, so that's a lot of ways to actually win something. <laughs> uh, and if you add to that our random multiplier that can appear in virtually every spin, um, the potential is pretty huge. Um, it also means that the game is a little bit on the volatile side, <laughs> but well, uh, we know that there are players that very much like that and uh, the volatility allows us to give some uh, substantial wins. And I mentioned it before, uh, the highest possible multiplier. Well, I will uh, say, which is uh, 500. So 500 is substantial. Uh, you can transform any win, literally any win, the smallest possible win into something big with the 500 multiplier. And of course the multiplier sticks through the entire spin cycle. So if you have 500 multiplier and keep on winning using our pop win mechanic, you can win and win and win very big numbers very, very quickly. <laughs> 
Uh, of course, uh, this is uh, a very special situation. The 500 multiplier is a rare one, but it is a delicious one and it can transform the win on the lowest symbol into something big. And there's one thing that I forgot to mention, so I just added because it's a minor addition, but a very nice one, which is the titular uh, Rhino uh, is uh, a special symbol. It is a super high symbol that starts winning from not three of a kind, but two of a kind. So that's a little extra on top. Uh, with the addition to the wild symbol in the bonus game as well, uh, the chances of actually winning something uh, rise and rise exponentially. Wow, that's uh, that's amazing, man. That sounds uh, super, super cool. Um, thank you so much for uh, for the presentation. Uh, the game looks amazing. I mean, everybody can see the potential uh, here. Like it, it can really, really go crazy. Uh, all roads re lead to Rome, but all ways leads to pop. Uh, many ways to win, uh, super juicy. But uh, let's uh, let's talk a bit about uh, the theme you decided to go with here. Can you can you walk us through like the, the sort of the, the landscape we're in, uh, the the characters uh, we're facing here in the game? Like, of course, what's behind of course. all this. Uh, so um, the decision behind the theme is always interesting when it comes to that because uh, it's a lot of different angles how we can tackle that. The thing is that we really just wanted a game themed with. Uh, African vino. We wanted to mm -hmm. have this savanna. We had to have these animals. We had to have this uh, because it was something. Uh, if you notice in our previous games, in our portfolio, we really don't have anything like that. We mm -hmm. have hippo, uh, which is some would say is very close, but it really isn't. When you see these two games next to each other, they look completely different and have For very sure. different, very different feel. Uh, hippo is much softer, much gentler. Raging pop, as the name suggests, should be much more kinetic, heart hitting. Exactly, and you can feel it when you play it. When the raging rhinos actually charge through the screen it is an event it is an experience uh, there is something happening there so we wanted to make a high volatility game and mm -hmm. uh, fit a theme that is let's say traditionally ascribed to this kind of games and mm -hmm. rhinos well rhinos and bisons are the two animals that you always toss in a game that can win you big but it's also a little bit on the aggressive side yeah that sounds uh, super good and i mean the the, the 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 colors are also very beautiful i think also like you're combining it's kind of aggressive uh, sort of uh, feel uh, and the way you win with, with with some soothing colors but still quite you know intense with the lightning in the background and, 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 and <laughs> yes, yes, yes. The, uh, it was joining to the multiplier so the initially multiplier was supposed to be pure lightning but for the <laughs> functionality and readability we had to tone it down a little bit but you can still see uh, a little bit of that in the game yeah. uh, and the multiplier is governed by the lightning energy that uh, moves it around uh, between the counter and the game so for the designers, like so, initially they got a mission like make make something really really aggressive. We want power, we want everything, and then you have to kind of okay, okay, let, let, let's take it down a little bit, a little bit. Down. <laughs> yeah, exactly, because you know it's it's good to have something that is really hard hitting, but we also want to make sure that you can actually comprehend what is going on on the screen. Yeah, and 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 uh, and about the music and the sounds, like uh, like how did you select the music uh, to the game and, and and the kind of the winning sounds? Like what 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 were your thoughts there? Was it the same kind of process with the aggression or? Yes, yes, it's there. similarly driven. Uh, we always want to have this one point uh, in mm -hmm. game that is we consider the most crucial, the most important. So of course, in Raging Pop, it's the charging rhinos, the raging reel. Uh, this mm -hmm. feature was supposed to hit hard and make sure that everyone who feel it can uh, see that there is something important happening in the game. So mm -hmm. this was like the first point we actually designed the sound for. We wanted to have the charging rhinos. So when you are listening to it very closely, you can hear that we actually have animal tracks playing in the background so you can hear the rhinos doing the whole snorts and oh, rolls and all that wow sound. that's super kind of good sound. yes it's a very complex sound actually uh, of course it's a little easy to lose it in the whole uh, game but it's still a main focus and when you are seeing it uh, it is the impact and started from that point we actually started building on other sounds uh, to make sure that none of them encompasses this main sound of this feature uh, but also fit of course the theme of the game there's one idiosyncrasy that is uh, our very own so when you are winning big wins of any kind mm -hmm. we always use the same four uh, musics but just themed uh, for a certain game theme uh, i think this is actually a little bit of a tasty bit of our brand uh, yeah. when you are winning something big you will always hear the familiar uh, familiar tones just in a different different dual set tones yeah, definitely. I think that's a very smart way of doing it. Like on the one hand, you want to, you know, create some uh, original features and sounds, but I think it's also very good to stay true to the kind of brand, to your fan base, to your players, right? 
Um, you, you, you gave us a pretty good explanation on how this game uh, is different from other pop games. But, but if, you could, if, you, if you could explain uh, once more, because obviously there was some difference in the features in the base game and the bonus game, but, but explain to us again, uh, how is it different? Of course. Uh, the key feature uh, change that the players will have to kind of uh, bash against is, of course, the pop win, because the pop win is our classic, right? It's uh, mm -hmm. what we always have uh, in some way or form. This one is the biggest uh, change to its core behavior, because in the base game, it pops, but it doesn't extend the reels. And that might be a little shocker for someone who is expecting a regular pop experience. This core mechanic is, of course, fully functional in the bonus game, but in the pop uh, in the base, it was replaced with this random reel extension. So it is um, more volatile. It ha happens a little rarely, but rewards the player in a different way. Because with the regular pop wins, we get extensions piecemeal, right? We extend yeah. bit by bit, reel by reel. Uh, in this feature, when you get the extension, you just get the extension of all the reels at once. Uh, so if it hits, it's um, much more impactful on the uh, moment it happens, right? Because you just expand all reels by one or by two even, mm -hmm. uh, which is of course crucial. And why we decided to do it is because for this random multiplayer. So every time it happens, you also get this random multiplayer and it can be once again up to 500. So that's a big one. Uh, and uh, we wanted to make sure that the player has the most chance to actually mm. capitalize on this multiplayer. So having bigger board uh, that mm. fills up with the symbols is the way to do it. And this is the key feature uh, change of this game uh, to facilitate our random multiplayer. But there is one extra change, which is also mm -hmm. I consider very important, which is our multi-stage gamble, which we most likely in some form of way incorporate into other future games uh, because it once again gives the player this fun gamble feature which can gives them the chance to win more uh, but without being so punishing our previous games uh, that uh, if you are uh, giving this a bet and lose all the spins it might be a little you know <laughs> <laughs> uh, not ideal, uh, but here, uh, but but here, uh, you have the chance to recuperate and still get some free spins to actually play the bonus. Excellent. That that's a very good way of putting it. I think we all we all get now in what way this game is different. We see, we we're seeing a, a red thread here. It's about more aggressive, more volatile, uh, more hard hitting, uh, basically. Absolutely. So. so Speaking of uh, volatility, on a scale 1 to 10, where would you position Rage Pop? Ah, uh, that's a good question. It's always uh, scale. It feels, would... feels like a 10 out of 10, if you ask me. Like, you yes, know? yes, yes. I would, I would definitely go that way. Uh, I, I like to be conservative because when I am giving to, to 10, 10 out of 10, for 10 for me is like, you know, the absolute pinnacle. Yeah. Like, you can't go back. So I would give it a 9. I still believe that you can squeeze something even more ferocious, uh, yeah. but this one is definitely an extremely aggressive game. Uh, it, 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 will, it will test your patience, it will test you too, but if you land something, it will reward you humongously. That, that's excellent, that's excellent. So when it, when it comes to the, the, the thrill of the spin, so I like, I'm getting here from your explanation that this game is more weighted towards the, the bonus round. You want to get in there and you want to go absolutely crazy. But, the, but in the bonus round, if I understand correctly, there's also great potential to be found uh, in the base game, right? Yes, 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 of course. That's the uh, secret of our random multiplier because exactly. the random multiplier can really hit you hard. <laughs> so in the base game, it still exists uh, and you can always get it. And uh, it, it's just a stroke of luck, right? That you are just having a single spin and suddenly, blam, you are being hit by 100 multiplier. And then you win on the golden rhinos and you win on the golden riders of the 100 multiplier. And suddenly a win of 500, 1000 or even more is completely within your grasp within the base game. Excellent stuff. So, so do do you think that uh, fans of the previous pop games will they still like this more aggressive game, or is this catered to a new crowd? Would you say? Um, yeah, well, of course, it's a bit of a mix. Uh, since we are still reincorporating the pop win mechanic, we still count that the pop win uh, fans will be uh, delighted to try it out. But yes, this game is definitely more uh, aimed for players who want to have this hard hitting, aggressive game uh, that will uh, test what they can actually get uh, within within the spins. Excellent. That's uh, that. That's really good. So. We got the nice uh, African theme here with the animals. We got the the the, the kind of raging pop as the, the aggression is the center of the game, and uh, I think this is a pretty good presentation. We summed it up quite well. Um, thank you so much for tuning in, Hubert, and uh, yeah, I'll uh, see you next time.
Thank you for joining. Thank you very, thank you very much. It was a pleasure.